May be the poster boy for failed justice. The repeat offender now charged with the hit and run death of an East Bay teenager. Now one of his previous victims is speaking out, asking what he was even doing out on the streets. He has a history of elder and animal abuse, and today he faced a judge once again answering to murder charges. KPI x Mark Kelly took a closer look at his rap sheet to find out how this man slipped through the cracks. Mark? Well, the list of convictions for 34-year-old Sonny Anderson goes on and on. Today, he was arraigned on murder charges for uh, hitting and killing a 14-year-old Ivan Cruz last week. But one past victim told us today Anderson should have landed in prison for life long ago. Sonny Anderson, a little shy in front of the cameras, walks into the Alameda County courtroom. And you set your bail since this is a felony matter, also at zero. Anderson is no stranger to the courtroom. I don't think he should ever be let out. In 2009, he was convicted of breaking into a San Lorenzo home and severely beating an elderly woman. She just learned he's accused in the death of a 14-year-old boy. My gosh, that was him, you know. I was just so glad that they got him and he's going to be put away now. Today, that woman spoke to KPI X5 about the attack six years ago. She said the justice system failed her then. He should have been taken care of a long time ago and put away and not let out. We learned today Anderson was sentenced to three years, but served only half that time. That's because he was convicted on a lesser charge, theft from an elder. That's a nonviolent crime, allowing him to serve just half the sentence. Could be put away now. Before people, Anderson had a violent history with animals. In 1999, he was convicted of numerous counts of animal abuse, including stabbing a pony at a Hayward petting zoo. His past victim calls Anderson mentally ill. Anderson's convictions and stints multiple times in and out of prison go beyond elder abuse and animal cruelty. Coming up at 6, we're going to go more in depth on those multiple times Anderson was in and out of prison and what specifically landed him in jail. Live in Hayward, Mark Kelly, KPIX 5. Anderson will be back in court again tomorrow morning. He will enter his plea. He has asked for a public defender.